Your voice, your opinion, your community. Fact TV, free speech, protected. How did the cops find the truck? Why didn't they use the song? And how do you kill the creeper? All this and more on Gory Story Time. Warning. Gory Story Time is a horror movie review show by a son and his dad who thought that letting his five-year-old watch scary movies was acceptable. If you are offended by horror or talk about blood and gore by a child, or if you don't want horror movies from the 60s through today spoiled, then there is a remote stuck in your couch cushion next to potato chip crumbs. Use it. And of course, parental discretion is advised. Why? You didn't use any. Shut up and start the show. Welcome to Gory Story Time. I'm your host, Jason. I'm his co-host and his father, Craig. And this is the episode where we're reviewing... Well, it's the third, third in of our, our trilogy. trilogy episode. Well, not even trilogy, no. just part threes. Yeah. we Because we did part three of Friday the 13th. Yep. We did part three of Child's Play. And, and now we're, we're doing... part three of this one. Yes. Uh, Creepers, and, Creepers. So, but they're not really trilogies because... Except for this one, they all have more than three that we've done so far. Yeah. <clears throat> I mean, so there's but we, those we, things. We couldn't do Nightmare on Elm Street 3 because we already it. did it. Same with, um, what was the other three that we did? There was a, uh, Halloween 3. So Halloween the 3 we did. Done. So, so we've got to do one anyway, more after this. This one is the third Jeepers Creepers. Jeepers Creepers 3, no subtitle. It's no just, subtitle. That's a great subtitle. Yes. Oh, I almost forgot oh, this. Answer the questions. Here's the questions in the answered in the order that they were asked. If you want to match them up, go back and see. It's <clears throat> old-fashioned police work. I don't know, but I missed it. And no one knows part four, anyone? Nah. Um, but anyway, so basically Jeepers Creepers, the creature that turns out to be winged in the first one. So anyone that saw the first one, if you're looking at the review for the third one and didn't know that, that's on you. Um, yeah. But anyway, this creature comes back every 23 years. Here it is 23 years after the events of parts one and two, and he's doing the same thing, consuming human beings to rebuild himself and go back to sleep. Yeah. Basically. And he's got a pretty kick-ass truck. Me too, Creeper. Me too. Um, so... Basically, that's all you need to know other than whatever it shows you in the trailer. Right, Colin? Fear as a scent. I've seen that thing in Haley 23 years ago. Damn, slaughterhouse on wheels. When it comes, it'll kill anyone that's still here. We need Tamar, shopkeeps, farmers, anyone who's looked this thing eye to eye and lived to tell about it and wants to do something about it. What happened here happened before. Just tell me one thing. Did you bring something that can kill it? What if the secret to what this thing is, is the secret of how to kill it? Jeepers Creepers. What? Wasn't that the song the guy sang or something? Oh, yeah. All right, so uh, that's basically 
what you need to know going into this. But before we get into the behind the scenes stuff, yeah. where we talk about it, let's talk about real commercials that we get paid actual fat stacks of cash to promote real products that actually exist. Because <clears throat> who would do this for this many years and this many episodes for free? I mean, obviously some sort of dumbass. Yeah. Is plural. Two of them. Yeah. Weekly. Uh, so this is real and legit. Um, Great Story Time this week is brought to you by the Facebook page, The Creepiest Stuff on Earth. This is a page where members share their creepiest photos and memes. We cover everything from insects and serpents to cursed images and Joe Biden. That's oh, The Creepiest Lord. Stuff on Earth page on Facebook. Not Joe Biden. None of that. And by Horror Plates. Show your love of horror, horror with these license plates based on your favorite gory films. Some favorites are DRMMSTR, Dream Master, Dream Master, NVR Sleep, Never Sleep, uh, both from Nightmare on Elm Street, uh, CMP Blood, Camp Blood, or HKY Mom, Hockey Mom from the Friday the 13th series. You could get Good Guy or WANA Play from Child's Play and more. Want something a little less mainstream? T R I H O U N D is Trihoon from the Human Centipede, or A N G L A S space D from or Angela's D Angela's from D Camp. from Sleepaway Camp. Those are horror plates. Check out our selection today. All right. <clears throat> hey, my sister has an out of time one. Not horror, but it says out of time. All right, good stuff. Yes. Anyway, let's get to the behind-the-scenes information. Or the meat and beef of the show. Yes. Start with the first piece of meat and beef. Yeah, the very thin amount of meat and beef that we had to pick through. Did you? The film got the green light to film on... That's horrible. On September 11th, 2015. It is horrible. The film got the green light to film. How about the film got the green light September 11th? Yeah. Which... Bad. Bad. Uh, the creeper abandons his disguise near the finale of each film, except in this one. It appears to be there for practical reasons. <clears throat> As in the first film, he didn't want obstructions when his foot and hand regrew. In the second, it suggested that the cloth impedes his flight abilities as he had trouble with being harpooned until he shed his clothing. Adding to this, that it, he tore open his shirt before regrowing his head, which rose out of his chest. That's freaky. Uh, Gina Phillips returns in this film to play, again, Patricia Trish Jenner. The Bannon High jackets used in the final scene were actually the originals. Nice. Uh, the cries that the Creeper emits in almost all the film is the same that it emits before taking to Derry Talk, yeah. Derry Jenner in the original Jeepers Creepers. Before taking to... Before taking Derry, I think, is what it's supposed to say. Derry Jenner. Okay. I think they added a two. There's a lot of why. words in this. Yeah. The, this is the third of the Jeepers Creepers movie franchise to be written and directed by Victor Salvo, which means he did all, all of three. them. three. Yeah. Uh, at one point, actress Adrienne Bar Barbeau was supposedly attached to play Galen Brandon in May of 2017 an interview happened where she said on Facebook that she had uh, been offered the part and said no. Wait a minute. Okay, now I'm confused. In May 2017, in a May 2017 interview, she stated on her Facebook, well, which is it? In an interview or on her Facebook? She did an interview on her Facebook. People need to learn English when they're like posting these behind the scenes pieces of info online. Yeah. But anyway, and we should read through them more thoroughly before we, you know. Apparently. Have, uh, there's a lot of problems this time behind the scenes. But anyway, um, as in the first movie, the creeper whistles a song after murdering a victim. Yeah. Unlike uh, the first movie, it wasn't Jeepers Creepers. This film was released in select theaters for a single day on September 27th, 2017. As it clearly states... September 26th, and we'll get to when it says September 13th. Anyway, 
The director, Victor Salvo, was forbidden to show scenes where the creeper eats human organs. Yeah, because why in an R-rated horror movie that. would they want that? Ah, because it was TV-14 initially. Mm. Yeah, no MPAA on this one. The creeper reuses his medieval battle axe from the first movie. Chester Rushing and Gabriel Hoff, I guess, didn't get along during the film's recordings. Mm. Some of the sounds emitted by the creeper are a mixture of dog barks and feline roars. The film's premiere was scheduled for September 13th, 2017 at the TCL Chinese Theater in Los Angeles, and all tickets were sold out. Additionally, most of the cast of the two previous films were going to attend um, the event, which was going to have a screening of the original film, followed by part three. However, the event was canceled due to protests against Salva's criminal past, which we need to do some research and find out what this writer director is. I gotta see what this guy is up to. Yeah. Um, Next page. Yeah. The stable of the Addy Horse is actually the same barn as Jack Taggart, which was reused and dressed to reduce costs. When the creeper is shown standing on top of his truck as it goes down the road, it's mirroring mirroring exactly what happened in the first Jeepers Creepers from 2001. And he's on top of the cop car and it's driving as he kills the two cops. Yes. Uh, the original film, Jeepers Creepers from 2001, transpires in southern Poho County, which, while this film sitting, runs north of Poho, which is to just explain. an explanation as to why they filmed it in a different place. Yeah, it, that's why the location looks different. It's like, no, really? Wow. Buddy's father mentions the name of Kissel County, where the events of Jeepers Creepers 2 takes place. Ah, uh, yes. Mm. Uh, the safety system of the, Jeep, of, the, of the Creepers truck is composed of two internal sabers and a spear that is ejected from the rear, in addition to some poles in the doors. Yeah, some poles, is that what some you'd poles. call that? Plus there was the thing up front that went through the head. That was those poles. Yeah, but there was the spikes in yeah, the back. They had there it, was a... they had it in the back of the truck, and then like between the drivers. Well, and anyway, the... the truck's pretty sweet. Yeah. Um, in this feel, film, it's revealed that Trish and Derry were heading to Stillwater County, which is north of Poho County. Anyway, and that is what we have. All for of the main beef this time because. Somebody on IMDb doesn't know what facts are about movies and, when they haven't happened yet. Well, there's a, yeah, a lot of the facts said is going to be, which means they're not confirmed to have been. They're right, and, and so if many most things of these change. facts were written in 2017. When did the movie actually come out? It came out in 2017. It did, but it was greenlit in 2015. So people were preemptively saying what was going to be a fact, and then you know how a that lot of goes. them changed because yeah. this movie was. You know, exactly. Shelved. Anyway, over on the uh, Rotten Tomatoes site, the fans, out of a hundred percent of fans, the few that there that are, voted, thirty-two percent said it was a good movie, and seventeen percent of the critics gave Agreed. it a positive review. Now, here's what I would say. Yeah. It was another one. It wasn't, it wasn't bad. One. It was literally the same thing. The, yeah, but like... There was no real expounding There was on it. nothing new. There was nothing but special. Before we get into why we rate it, what we rate it, let's do our favorite scenes. All right. What was your... Because there's things you didn't like and things you did, uh, so... Right, definitely. Do you want to go first? Or uh, what was your favorite part? My, you should do go first, then. My favorite part was the truck, because they didn't really get into the truck other than having it chasing people down, and the fact that it was like set up with all these like hidden deadly things so that if you lived when he threw you in the back of the truck you couldn't escape or it would eat you possibly i mean well no I mean, but kinda, it would, it would pierce like you teeth. it could catch you if you were running away by shoot the truck is a demon like it is yeah it like basically is. like what it, he basically controls the truck as if it was remote control mentally or something because they never explain how it drives on its own and does all these things on its own Right. They never really explain Not it, but the truck is pretty cool, so that's what I'm going with. Cool. Yeah. What's um, your favorite? I really like the interactions between the old lady mom grandma character yep. and her dead son. Yeah. Right? Between okay. him and 
her when he was like a ghost with the ripped up clothes. I really liked his character okay. because I was like, hey, th that's not something we saw in the other two. Yeah, well, it was ghosts. I think it was her being crazy, except it was telling her things she wouldn't have known. And they ended up being true. Right, so it's weird. Um, my least favorite thing is just the idea that all the main characters seem to know everything about, everything this, about creature. this creature, how it comes back every 23 years, about how it eats body parts of each, it scares people so that it can smell what body parts it wants to eat because if it eats your body part, it receives that body part to rebuild itself and right. it has to basically completely rebuild itself and then go back to sleep. Right, so like... But how did they know all that but they didn't know... If they knew about the license plate that says be eating you. Right. Well, and like, they could have just... Enough to have their know. own license plate that said be killing you. Right. If they know, they could just blow him up while he's asleep. Yeah, like, why right? wait for him to... Why wait 23 years to attack him, find him, kill find him... Find him at his while, weakest. Exactly. It's or like, is yeah. he the weakest because now he's rebuilt himself? No, he's weak because so he's So maybe he's asleep. stronger. Yeah, you're well, not stronger in your sleep. You're but you're horrible. stronger when you have fresh body parts. Most people Instead don't have old, that. But he does. And why are we gendering this creature? We don't know. It's 2020. No, it was I, played I, by a dude. But that doesn't mean... Jonathan something. Yeah, and Angela was played by a dude in Sleepaway Camp at the end For scene. For 15 seconds, that's not the but, same thing. Whatever. All right, my least favorite was they have, uh, I mean, there's a few instances of really, really bad special effects, but specifically, there's this bird, and it's horrendous, because they don't stop showing you the bird after it gets bad, because it's just like the worst plastered in their CG bird, and then it gets worse and worse as you keep looking at the bird, and it keeps moving, and, not like a bird. And they keep not cutting away from, for some reason, they just really wanted you to see this crow. And it's like, just, do a better job. Don't be so proud of it. The shot of the bird's ass as it's like following it's it. Like, I'm like, do, do I need to stare at the bird's ass? Do I? It's a fake ass. But I don't want to stare at real or fake ass of an animal or bird or lizard or fish or any creature. Like, unless it's it a was female so, human being. It was so blocky. And then not all of them. It was like, true. It was just so bad. Yeah, it was awful. And that's not even the, that's not even like the only bad special effect in this. That spear thing that comes out of the truck, even though it was a cool idea, that was hokey as shit. So. Yeah. Anyway, so what would you, on a scale of one to 10, after dropping an S-bomb on a live stream. Oh, oops. Find me. Yeah, no one ever says that on Facebook. Anyway, on a scale of 1 to 10, what would you rate this movie? I'm going a 4. Really? Really. Because if I'm going to sit down and I'm going to watch one of these movies, I'm just going to watch the first one. The first one was amazing. It didn't need this. But the second one didn't even have be eating you. Right, that was bad too. But you liked it. No. You liked the second one. Not really. One. Mm. I, I like that it took place really in the same the timeline one. as the first. And See, I but this really, one, really, I liked really that they brought the, the truck first back. One. Yes. So, but I like the truck coming back and the fact that it was like, like bulletproof. It was almost like the Superman of trucks. It was dumb. No, that was cool. You already agreed that the truck the was truck awesome. The truck is cool, so okay. Shut up. So what, the truck's cool. This well, movie was kind of bad. No, what it was was nothing, except for the new stuff with the truck, it was just a, the same character doing the same things with no real Yeah, it was special. more of the same, yeah, but it was more of the same done poorly. that's not necessarily poorly. bad. No, it was done not as good. Nah, I mean... It was done not as well. Most of the special well. effects were fine. Not really. Yeah, it was no, just... No, a lot of this CGI movie was, bird. I do not recommend okay, you watching well, this movie. I'm going to rate it probably like a six and a half. Because it's not a bad movie. Uh, it's just, it's not as good as the original. No. No, no, no. But a lot of sequels, that's the case. Not at all. It certainly didn't wrap anything up like it was a trilogy. Which it, it should have, like, because this was 
no, the just, perfect way to end it. Just end it on a, a bad one. Yeah, that's the way they always like to do it, you dummy. Yeah, uh, just I'm anyway, starting a petition now. Redo this movie. Ignore him. Over on this side. Over on this side. Uh, this is my show, Dick. So, <laughs> so, <laughs> all right, here I go with the swearing on this show. So on that side of the screen, it's already up. You can watch this show on Fact TV Channel 1076. Thursdays at 8.30 p.m. and Fridays at 7 p.m. You can also like us on Facebook, and by us, I mean our show, Gory Storytime. Look that up on Facebook, or you can look up Fact TV because they have a page, and you could like that, and then you're watching this live sometimes if you yeah, want if to. you're watching this live, And And um, also, don't call me a dick. <laughs> sure. Uh, <laughs> sure. <laughs> I'll pretend. You can watch this show on factate.com. They have all, all a lot of the back episodes, and, and they have all shows. of the other stuff that they do. So oh, you can go to my YouTube channel, Juggalo Jake's All One Word. You can all over look up, yep. And you can look up uh, all, or is it all one word? It yeah. is all one word, all you lowercase. You can just look it up and uh, watch episodes of this and Daddy Issues and music videos and other stuff that I do. Yep. There's those things, and you can... Follow us on Twitter. I'm at Jason T. Jake 17. Capital J, capital T, capital J. Capital 17. Capital 17. <laughs> you can also follow me at Craig Jake's all one word, all lowercase, and we don't talk about the show at all. Not at all. But you can still follow us if you want to hear offensive things. Or if, if you, you don't like politicians. <laughs> I definitely like to troll politicians. I have fun with it. Anyway. Any politician, by the way. So, whatever. I'm your host, Jason. I'm his co-host and his father, Craig. And, and sweet, sweet dreams. dreams.